Hi, this is a quick tip for Premiere Elements on how you can archive your project and avert disaster in case a computer were to crash. It doesn't mean you have to take, it has to take your project with you. You want to back that thing up so that you could move it to another uh, computer and can resume your work. Normally as you're working in Premiere Elements, you see you have your timeline down below and you also see under the Edit tab any video or audio or graphic clips that you've imported into the project and what's been used. Uh, this can also contain some clips that haven't been used and that distinction is important to the type of archive that you want to make. Uh, archiving the project, backing it up, is under the File menu. Look for Project Archiver. If you want a trimmed down version of the archive, that is throw away the stuff that you haven't used, just archive the stuff that you have used in your project, use the first option. If you have elements that you haven't included in the timeline yet, you can go to Copy Project, the second option, but this is going to be a bigger folder by the time you're done. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say OK and start packaging this thing up. And it's going to reach to whatever sources I have used and I have included in that asset bin, whether it's on the local hard drive or if it's on a network, wherever it's located, it's all going to be brought into one place and stored on that D drive where I, uh, I, I chose to make the archive. It takes a couple of seconds, but it's worth it. If I go to my computer now and go to that D drive and go looking in the folder where I stored it, the name of the folder it creates is called, in this case, trimmed because I used the smaller, si uh, the smaller size. It trimmed away the files I didn't need. And then it named the folder by the name of the project. And inside there, there's any movies or audio files, graphics, uh, anything that was used to make that ed edit, and there's the PREL that has the edits in it. Do this often. Do it today, do it tomorrow, do it every day if need be. And then, uh, if you can, put the thing on a thumb drive. That way you could move all these files from one computer to another. If a computer is busy, or if it's failing or acting flaky, just move to a different computer and you've got your whole project right there. That's it. Good luck.